We are now going to move to a question from Gloria Ibanez from El Sol de Yakima. This is a question about indigenous boarding schools. A recent federal report on indigenous boarding schools raised attention on the 17 that operate in Washington state. Children weren't allowed to speak traditional languages and were separated from their families. At least 970 children died nationwide. Is there more the state can do to help tribes heal from the trauma caused by the boarding schools? Mr. Riker, uh, absolutely. Um, we would look for. I would look forward to working with the tribes, and and making those safe places for our children, and and uh, the families of our indigenous uh, uh, community members. Mr. Ferguson. Oh, great. Um, and that's why I have a minute fifteen for this. Great. Okay. Just want to make sure. Um, thank you so much for that question. Um, I, I don't just look forward to meeting with tribes about this. I've been doing it. Uh, my team is actually putting together a group to address this specific issue, working with tribal leaders and tribal members all across the state. What has gone on with boarding schools in our state, just like in other states, is a true tragedy. And I've heard that loud and clear from tribal leaders and tribal members as I've met all across the state with every tribal council all across the state. I'm proud that I'm the only candidate running for governor that's actually endorsed by a tribe, by a tribe more than dozens. I might also add, this issue is critically important. We're gonna follow up on it, but also an issue that impacts tribes disproportionately is the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women. My team put together a task force. We went to the legislature and got funding for a team in my office yesterday, additional lawyers, and guess what they're doing? They're standing up for tribes, bringing cases, bringing accountability, and solving cold cases of missing and murdered indigenous women all across the state. That's what leadership looks like, right? Is reaching out, communicating those folks, and sometimes, yes, you need additional resources to bring justice to survivors and bring accountability for folks who violate the law.